Hello everyone, in this video, I want to give you 5 tips for improving your English speaking skills. I have seen many students who are really good at grammar and vocabulary, but they find themselves lost when it's actually time to speak the language. In reality, the only way to develop your fluency in any language is to actually speak the language, no matter how much good grammar or good vocabulary you have, but you should have practiced this communication and spoken English skills. Therefore, in this recording, I want to give you five tips that will help you improve your fluency in English. Now, you cannot in to improve your fluency in just two or five days fluency is based on practice so the more you practice speaking in english the more fluent you will become okay no matter how much you are good at grammar or vocabulary but only practice speaking in english will be can, will make you fluent okay so my tip number one is speak now be confident and speak as often as possible now don't be ashamed to make mistakes the more you practice the better and more confident you will become in your pronunciation and vocabulary remember that speaking is a skill like learning a musical instrument and the only way you can get good at speaking in English is to actually do it now tip number two is read aloud read the newspaper or magazine out loud to yourself okay so whenever you are reading any book any chapter any newspaper magazine anything you are reading read it out loud you can even find a script from your favorite TV show or movie and act it out loud. You can also read out loud the dialogues from your favorite movie. This is such a great way to practice your pronunciation as you can concentrate on how English sounds without worrying about sentence structure or grammar. Number three tip is record your practice conversation. So for example, you, uh, whenever you're talking with anyone in English, so when the calls just start, just record your conversation and after conversation is over, take a moment to reflect. How did it go? Did you feel nervous while talking or did you make any mistakes or did you find any new word? How much do you think you understood the conversation? Okay, how comfortable did you feel with the subject matter or did you encounter any unknown words? Okay, the fact of thinking about it in this way will increase your confidence the next time you will speak. Okay, the number fourth tip is find an English speaking conversation partner. I know it is really hard to, hard to find one, but it's important to find a partner to practice speaking English with. I would suggest a native English speaker if you are lucky. So, if you live around English speakers, try to incorporate informal conversation into your daily life. If that isn't an option, consider hiring a private teacher, okay? My fifth tip is don't forget to use technology. A smartphone can be a powerful tool for learning languages. It can help you find reading material, listen to conversation or talk with teacher or even record yourself speaking just like I'm doing right now. So there are so many apps that even help you find a partner or teacher online. I will suggest to you Cambly. Okay, that's all for today's recording. I hope you enjoyed it.